Good morning, entrepreneurs. Uh, today's lecture is also about uh, banks in Japan. How you can get, uh, how you can borrow the money from the bank to start your business. I will talk about more detail today. First, I want to explain you about the startup business loans. When you start a business, uh, you you will use uh, this loan because it's available for the startup companies. Usually, when you try to borrow the money from the bank, they will ask you to submit the record of your, you know, financial result for the maybe past three years. But for the startup companies, uh, you do not have any history of your you know, financial record. So it's very difficult to get uh, borrow the money for the new companies. But you know, if you apply for the startup business loans, uh, you can you know, borrow the money from the bank even though you are start your new companies. And second one is there is no cosigners. You know, if your company is new and is not doesn't have enough credibilities the bank will ask you know to to you to become a co-signers so what's happen if you become a co-signers is you know uh, if your company business doesn't go well and if your bank you know bankrupt uh, if your company bankrupt uh, you personally have to pay back the loan so you will lose the meanings of uh, limited liability corporations because you personally owe the liabilities. The third one is also uh, there's no warranty usually. And number four, the interest rate is low compared to the other loan. So uh, where you can get uh, the startup business loan? There is a two way to get a loan for the startup companies. The first one is Japan Finance Corporation called Siesaku Kinyu Koko, and the second uh, way is a uh, use uh, you know guarantee associations. Let me explain about those uh, two uh, way to get a loan. The first one is Japan Finance Corporation. They offer the loan for the starting up companies, and it's a governmental bank. They own hundred percent by the Japanese government. That's why they can, you know, the, lend the money to the uh, startup companies. And second way is guarantee associations. You are not gonna, you know, borrow the money directly from the guarantee association. The mechanism is like this: you will borrow the money from the bank. Usually, it's a local bank or, you know, uh, sinking banks. And guarantee association will guarantee the bank so the bank can be free from the risk and local authority will support the interest rate and will guarantee fees so the interest rate is really low so uh, let me explain you what the difference uh, between the japan finance corporation and guarantee associations the big you know the biggest difference is interest rate you know I personally borrow the money from those two uh, organizations and for my you know startup business loans the interest rate for I borrow the, the money for five years interest rate was uh, 2.15 percent for the Japan Finance uh, Corporation on the other hand you know the guarantees associations I borrowed from the Shinkin Bank by using this guarantee association and my interest rate is only 0.3% it's amazing no no other bank can do it and but this is a bad point too uh, the low amount you know Japan Finance Corporation is they give you they can lend you a lot of the money for example I borrowed the working capital for like you know well uh, about one year from this uh, Japan Finance Corporation but on the other hand, I try to, you know, first I try to borrow the money from the guarantee association, uh, but they only allow me to, you know, borrow the working ca uh, working capital for only three months. So that was not enough. So I use uh, Japan Finance Corporation. Actually, you can apply for both of them. And you know, the the third one is time uh, to get a loan. Uh, Japan Finance Corporation is, is very quick. 
if you apply, you know, you will, you maybe can get the loan uh, within one week at the earliest. On the other hand, guarantee association, it takes time to get the loan. So usually it takes like one month to two months. So if you are in rush, you should go to the Japan Finance Corporation. And the flexibility is different. Uh, you know, when I borrow the money from the guarantee association, for example, I borrow the money to buy the personal computers. So if I borrow the money for the personal computers, I can't use that money to buy something else. If I don't use the money to buy the personal computers, uh, they will collect uh, the money for the personal computers. So they are very strict on your business plan. On the other hand, Japan Finance Corporation, you know, after the money was transferred to, to my bank account, I can use it for anything. Well, maybe for the private one, but, yeah. This is the actual schedule uh, when I borrow the, the money from the finance, Japan Finance Corporation. In August 17th, I visited the JFC office and submitted my business plan. To borrow the, the money, you have to submit what your business plan is. And well, next week, I get a call and submit like some additional uh, paperwork to them. And then on September 8, uh, you know, the money was transferred to my bank account. It took me about three weeks. And uh, well, I visited the office only one time. So well, it's not, it was not a difficult. On the other hand, when I borrowed the money from the guarantee association, it took me more time. Because the first, I visited the Mengro Ward office uh, for initial meetings and uh, submitted my business plan. So because the Mengro Ward office is supporting the, those business uh, startup uh, loan, so I have to visit the office. And then next time, I visited the you know, community bank, the Shinkin. Then I visited the Mengro Ward office uh, to submit the revised business plan because they asked me to correct my business plan a little bit. Then you know after that I received the recommendation plan recommendation letters from the Meguro Ward office, and then I went to the Shinkin uh, with that recommendation letters, and uh, ask ask them to you know to give to give me a loan. Then after that, uh, you know, I passed, uh, they approved that to give me a loan then, but I have to get another approval from the Guarantee Association. So the guarantee people, uh, the person from the Guarantee Association visited my office. They actually visited the office to make sure that the office actually exists. And then, you know, after that, I get the approval from the, the Guarantee Association and then Finally, October 24th, you know, money was transferred to my bank account. It took me about uh, six weeks uh, to get a loan because there are like uh, three, you know, the organization involved. The first one is local authorities, the Mengoro Ward office. The second one is Shinkin Bank, the community bank. And the third one is Guarantee Association. So that's why it takes more time. So if you're in rush, it's maybe not good to use a uh, loan from the guarantee association. So what is the important things to borrow the money? The most important things is whether you can you know pay back the loan to the banks. So they will check it but what they gonna look at? They will first look at your business plan. They will check whether your business plan is actually can can be achieved like your services, whether it's realistic or non-realistic, and also they look at your experience. If you have the experience for the business which you're going to start from now, you know it's more you can convince the bank that you can pay back the loan. But if you don't have it, that's gonna be more difficult to be trusted. And also the initial capital, they will ask you how you you know. Uh, collected your initial capital, whether it's from your salary or, you know, from your friends or from your parents. Uh, because they will check, like, how, you know, well, they, they are checking, like, how much you are committed uh, to the business. If you collected the money from your salary for a long time, maybe it's more trusted. 
because you prepared for a long time. So uh, to prepare those one is kind of well, it, you have to have the technique. So I recommend you to talk with a tax accountant or a consultant. And this is it for today's lectures. Thank you for listening. See you next time. I'm giving you the useful information about the business in Japan. If you don't want to miss it, please subscribe to this channel. See you next time.